Looky, looky, I got hooky. 10,000 years later. Isn't that nuts? This thing took a year to arrive. What in the living Sam heck is going on, man? Heads I win, tails you lose. Let's just take a look at the quality of the cards. What, what exactly have we waited one year to see? What? What a what? They must have been doing a lot of really, really amazing quality control on this product. Wow, that comes... That's a little different wrapping, I, I suppose. Okay. I'm excited to see this. 100 card commander deck. With some special, uh, special stuff inside. Heads. Oh, that, that looks pretty fun, too. I don't know which one's a better thumbnail. That looks cute. Uh, which one would you use? Anyway, did anyone get this? Did you order it? Did you end up doing like a buyback? Or not a buyback, but uh, did you like sell it back? Did you get a, a credit? What's that called? A credit back? I don't know. Something, guys. Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy hanging out, huh? Let's stuff spins. Let's get. <laughs> excuse me. Let's get a little light. Let's put a little light on the subject. There we go. Much better. So yeah, you get one of these guys. You get this nice little uh, divider. I know everyone wants one of those, but here's what we're all here for. One of these come inside. Oh my gosh. Appreciate Ground Zero up in Strongsville. Uh, letting me crack this for them. Give them a visit if you're in the area. There you go. Hundred percent. Authentic Secret Layer Brand Luck Tracker. What is that? All right, sure. Okay, so that's what you get. Flip your destiny. Good times. Okay, great oldies. Magic 105.7. No, nobody? Okay. All right, moving forward. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice goblin token. I've seen that one before. Wow, I, the last time I saw that's like one of those special ones, um, if I recall correct, from like a Mythic Edition. So that's different. All right, let's take a look at what we get here. I don't think this was cheap. There's Eye of Wisdom. Very nice, very nice. It's a thick boy, too. That is a thick boy. There you go. Okay, so some thickness. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. ladies love it. Eye of Chaos. Wow. All right. Why do I feel like this is... We've seen this artwork before. But maybe... If, maybe Probably when I did spoilers. There's uh, the Eye of Wisdom yet again. Partner with Okan, Eye of Chaos. Very nice. Okay. Always these flippies, man. Always flipping. We are flipping and scripting. Very nice little foiling job there, I'd say. The cards. It's got a little. It's got a little bend to it, guys. What do you want? You know. Even when they double foil, there's still a way. Which which has them curled. Like what? What's going on, man? Agun, Eye of Chaos. On your doorstep. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah. Propaganda. <sighs> so much of it going around, huh? Another flipper. Very nice. Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking. Which side do you want to use? I would imagine those are going to be pretty sought after, these little flips, man. Stitch in time. Very, very cool. Whoopsie doodle. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, take an extra turn after this one. What? Boss dude. Well, that's pretty dope. You win that flip, man. Cool. Then you have uh, Crocs. 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 Them. Another flipper. So those are the special ones that are exclusive just to this product that you get. That foiling's kind of dull. Boo. <laughs> Not exactly done the best way. And then we get to the core of the deck. Yeah, Blasphemous Act. Fun times. Good old powerhouse, baby. Good old powerhouse, you know. I know, I know. Ooh, scrap savant. I really want to pop this dang confetti cannon. Here's the confetti cannon for anyone that's wondering. I got. I, I, we just got to pull something over like 500 bucks, and then we pop the confetti cannon, and Joey plays 20,000 pickup. It's, I know, it's, it's going to be bonkers when it does happen. I know, I know, it's crazy. Goblin Kaboomist. Fun little name there. I can't believe this took so long. All foiled out, though. All foiled out. You know, they, for, if they're going to do something like this, man, just stop. Just give us one symbol just for this specific product of all the cards in it. Don't give us 10 different set symbols, you know, and just, just chaos, man. Like, we don't we don't want the chaos. Crook Thumbless, Niv, Mizzet, Padroon. This card, I remember, was like 20 cents. It might have gone up like a buck. It might be a buck or two. Cool time. Spark Double. Amazing. Love this card. I saw so much potential in it when it was in standard, and it's still got a lot of potential. Temple of the Piff, sure. God, they print so many of these, man. 
Winery funeral. All right, yeah, it's just nothing. Bury, bury, bury me in the nameless grave. Fabricate. Sure. Fiery gambit. Whew. It's from Mirrodin. Whoa. Going way back. That foil looks pretty cool. I always like the foils. What's your favorite kind of style foil? Well, maybe not style, because if I say that, then you bring in like etch foilings and stuff like that, you know, and the, dub, the double rainbow. It's a double rainbow. What does it mean? You know, kind of foiling. But like when I say, what's your, you know, favorite, favorite look rainbow? Uh, or favorite, what's, your, what's your favorite kind of rainbow, guys? Someone tell us, what's your favorite rainbow? But what's your favorite foiling on cards? Like I, I prefer like the auras or like flames. You know, I think that's really cool. This one looks really nice. Dang. That thing looks super cool, man. Sliver. Okay. That sliver, that's probably my favorite so far of all these. Some foils definitely look better than others, though. Gar, gar, Garbin. <laughs> Goblin archaeologist. With the great furnace. There you go. Great furnace. Good stuff. Get the old prints. The old reprints. Is it boil workers? Is it signet? Good, good. And then the minotaur. Sweetness. Lightning greaves, of course. Mindstone. Myriad landscape. Negate. All foiled out, man. Path of ancestry. With Ral Azarek. All right. Rogue's Passage, sure. Swiftfoot Boots, man. They have so many copies of this card. Will the price go down? I don't know. It always, it's, it's always up there, man. Sword of Vengeance. Push, 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 push. Find your enemies and stab them with the Sword of Vengeance. Yes. Uh, Tavern Scoundrel. Mm. Guy's a little rascal. Thought Vessel. Very cool. No hand size. And you get some uh, men out of it. Good deal. Tribute Mage. Whisper Silk Cloak. Somebody tell me. Who can, who can tell me how many different set symbols appear in this product? Oh, that, that one actually looks cool because it looks red over here, purple over there, uh, <laughs> blue over there. That's kind of neat. I like that one. Island. Island Boys. I think it was Island it out right here. Mountain. Beautiful art. Fun. Okay. There's all that goodness. Then we get up into some more rare mythic. Academy Ruins, bam. This card was at one point like 10 to 15 bucks. No clue what's that now, but probably not that. Probably not that at all. Uh, Bloodsworn Steward, someone's like, it was never 15 bucks, how dare you? Boom bio, boom. I went boom in the boom in the mouth the room. Cascade Bluffs, Chandra's Ignition. Who's still waiting on theirs to arrive? That's really the biggest question. Commander's Plate, wow. Okay, I forgot about that. Commander's Plate was uh, printed up in this. That, that this is stupid though, because why didn't they foil out the entire deck? Why half ass it? Like, what are you gonna do? Just replace all these cards? I mean, if you're if you're foiling, you know, you're foiling. Embercleave, wow, Embercleave has been printed more times than I thought. Now, okay, that's like what the third reprint, second reprint, something like that. Orchard, the village, gamble, gamble is really good too. First appeared, I want to say, was the Urza Saga. Yeah, this card was like a twenty, thirty dollar card until they got mass reprints left and right. Goblin engineer. Fun, fun. Inventor's Fair. Another card that surprised me in price was like 50 cents, man. It wasn't really worth the whole darn, but uh, it definitely jumped. Uh, it went all the way up to, I think, as high as $5, $6. I'm sure the price is like 2 bucks now. Mirror March. One of my favorite cards, man. Like, I, you just get crazy with this because you keep flipping these coins and stuff. It can get out of control. Your board can get just ridiculous. I had a lot of fun building decks with that. Reshape. Reshape showing up. Seize the day. Seize the day, time to get on something. Shadow Spear, right there. That's uh, it was like twenty-two bucks recently. I wonder if it's gone down a bit. Maybe, maybe. Probably the price crept up so friggin' high because you couldn't get copies of it. More reprints until this tales uh, or heads I win, tales you lose, uh, finally was shipped out to people. So I'm sure the price is gonna go down to like eight bucks, six bucks, something like that. Uh, Spine Rock Knoll, the Sulfur Falls, Locust God. Hello, reprint. There you go. Always like a $2 card. Nothing crazy. Teleria West. Sweet looking, though. There you go. I like the art on that one. Training Center. Some definite value in here. What the heck was... I, I should have mine arriving. Mine might, mine might even be here. I don't even know. There's Whirl of Invention. Uh, Fortune's Flame. I gotta look around. For, uh, yeah. Arcane Signet. Ooh, some... Oh, wow. I didn't realize I did that. Chance Encounter. Bada bang. The whole deck's based around flipping stuff, man. Pretty fun. Commander Tower. Counterspell. With crooked scales, yeah, from old masks. There you go. I can never say that. It's like what Mercadian masks. This masks, 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 masks. All right, football crater with impulsive maneuvers. Yeah, I'm getting to her first. I'll buy her McDonald's. All right. Then we got long-term plans. You know, some people are never capable of making those. 
along with Mog Assassin. I like how dark red that is. That looks good from Exodus. Really neat. Muddle the mixture. Yeah, how many freaking different sets are in this? Is there like one from each or two, three, four, five from each? I don't know. Planar Chaos. Cool card. Ponder. Always like that artwork. There is like a $300 Ponder floating around out there. I know. Preordain. Who can tell me which one that is? Reliquity Tower. Beautiful. Risky Move. Risky Move. Not bad. Along with the Imposter. This card's recently been going up in price. I believe it was that one. Serum Vision. So many staples in this deck. Slip Through Space. Soul Ring. Never heard of that card, though. Squeeze Revenge. It's squeeze. Squeeze coming at you, baby. Squeeze coming at you. Tally me bananas. The old tally me crits. Have it. Temple of the False God. I know. We have fun here. Tam Tamer Battle Rage. Okay. Vandal Blast. Ooh, that island looks dope. Straight fire right there. We got more like that? Just the one island? That's it? Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the heads I win, tails you lose, uh, the flippers. These cards are destined to curl. Um, at least these ones right here won't. <laughs> but these guys, the process has begun, as you can see. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, always take a moment, hit that like. Leave me a comment. I like hearing from you guys. Take care of yourself and each other. Skadoosh.